glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The dream is similar for every team that starts the season. The reality can be cold. And only two teams have the opportunity to play for the BCS championship. In recent years, teams like Alabama, Florida, LSU, Texas, and USC have etched their names among the legendary squads in college football. And in this game, one team will have the right to join them. The BCS championship game is finally here. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. This is it, folks. Tonight, we crown the BCS national champions here in Arizona. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. As the ball set how he wants it, and we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. The kick is away, and the national championship is underway. Tackle at the 28 yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Taken down at the 31. Second and seven. Ball on the 31. Feeds it to the back. Tackle made at about the 41. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counter play. The blocking was great up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. Up the middle for a nice game. Jenkins the kind of guy that could end up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically. their own 45-yard line. Second down. Right down, around the 46-yard line. secondary they faced and now he's got this great achievement to show for it. Johnson is back deep to return the punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out out of the field for the first drive of the game. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's on the run. Dives forward. Texas A&M's loaded, and they've got one of their key players back again this year. It always helps when you've got veteran leadership, Kirby, and it really helps when they're as talented as this guy. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. Johnson's ace the second at the 38-yard line. That makes it second and two. Here I come again. 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 Here I come
Spread the field with five wide. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at about the 43 yard line. From the 43 yard line, second down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Curtis takes it left, and down he goes at the 43. Five wide. Fires out to his receiver, and he's taken down around the 30-yard line. it to the 28-yard line. Texas A&M's got some new faces on the roster that they're expecting some big things from, partner. And, you know, that's what's great about college football. New faces every year, unexpected stars, and the newcomers are kind of splashing out of the scene. They come out of an empty backfield. And he is drilled at the 26. with five wide receivers. Pressure and brought down. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. concern from his teammates with a guy down on the field. Play 13 of the current drive. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. He goes out of bounds at the four. Ready to kick 
this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So the Aggies are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? You better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Well, the Aggies lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury, and unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play any more football today. Sends in that quick intercepted. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. It's a good play when a corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. Texas a and is up a field goal. They get the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. We're through one here in the national championship with our score, 3-0, Texas A&M. We welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. They come out in a five-wide set. Rolls middle of the tight end. And he's level at the 44. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. That's a great tackle at the 49. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Clemens back deep to return. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's going right. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. You know, I talked to so many college quarterbacks who have gone on to be very successful in the NFL. And they all talk about the execution of the play action. And all of them talk about the good ones about taking their time and really working to sell the play action and sell the fake. If you don't take the time as a quarterback to really sell the fake, it's going to make it easy on the linebackers and safeties to realize that that was just a fake handoff and to get back into the Fumble, loose ball. He makes his way to about the 38. Great example of an opportunistic defense coming up with the fumble.
Texas A&M is up by three. Gets to about the 37-yard line. That brings up second and nine. They go to the ground game. He fights forward to about the 36. throws right away. Gets it. He's in space. Steps out of bounds around the 13-yard line. Now he's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. They'll give it off here. The 10. And they push him out around the one yard line. That makes the first and goal. The offense didn't get the playoff in time. So the delay of game will move him back to this view, and I'm pretty sure the coach isn't happy with his quarterback right now. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He scrambled. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. He makes the PAT. It was a six-play, 43-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical. It's really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A fumble really hurt this team's last drive, so let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. That makes it 37. Two-yard line. Lowe picks up about four yards with a catch. Oh, 
Houston is waiting for the snap. And he's taken down at the 37. Texas A&M's offensive coordinator. I don't know if he saw something in that defense in that first quarter, but right now they're rolling. You know, they started off a little bit slow, but give him a lot of credit for making the adjustments, and all of a sudden he's made enough adjustments to put his offense in a position to put up a lot of points. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on the heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Quick out to his receiver. And he's immediately tackled. completed for positive yardage. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Brought down the 42-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. second time out of the half. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Knocked out of bounds at the 20. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He throws right, quick strike to the receiver, touchdown! receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 63-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think I can count on one hand the last time I saw this good defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout. Are you kidding me in college football today with the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed and space? These guys get a chance to put up a shutout. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but i got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He heaves it deep. Nobody covering the tight end, and he's got it. They'll bring him down at the 11. And for Lowe, his season just got a little bit better because that last catch gives him 1,000 yards. He's terrific at making plays in the passing game. There just aren't that many tight ends that can contribute with these types of numbers. positive yardage. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. The Huskies call a timeout. That's their second of the half. 
from the six yard line. Second down. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. That ball had interception written all over it, but the defender couldn't hang on. I think the quarterback there was a little too intent on hitting that receiver. And he throws it away. So it's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So the Aggies are just cruising through this first half where it'll be really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be playing. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. You can feel it in the air tonight as we're only one half away from crowning the national champions. Our halftime score, 17-3, Aggies. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. It is my job to come in and rain on a parade. I know, parade. Every, I know everything's gone right. I know they have all the momentum. I know that every little detail of the game plan has gone exactly as script. But, but, <laughs> overconfidence, too happy, too satisfied. How big a problem is that in the second half? But you always, you always have the excitement coming into the first half of a ball game, and you think it's going to be close when teams like this are evenly matched. But that doesn't mean you can lose your edge. That doesn't mean you can get your place. And a lot of times we see passion and energy in the first half and it starts to wither away. They gotta make sure that they keep the energy up, continue to make plays. Don't think that you that you're there because we've seen momentum switch like that. As soon as somebody flips a switch, it's hard to get it going back in the other direction. So you gotta take advantage of these opportunities. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready for the call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. At the 30. Brought down to the 32 yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. Now he tries to buy some time. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's tackled around the 48 yard line. Pickup. 
Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From the 33 yard line, second down. Throws left, the running back's got it. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 35. for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He makes it to the 25-yard line. From their own 25-yard line, Second down. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And he's taken down right around the 42 yard line. down and they need to get it inside the 48. And they got it. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. here after the sack they look like they've got the block on and this offensive line's got to give him some time booming kick tackle made at the 39 a good job on their last drive getting three let's see if they can get some more on this drive Scrambling. He's at midfield. They 
they come out on an empty backfield. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to come up with a sack. He has one job on passing situations, get to the quarterback, and he did that job very, very well on that play. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Tackle around the 37-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. Second and ten. Ball on the 37. Gets rid of it quickly. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. He's tackled right around the 12 yard line. That makes it second and two. There's a strike complete. Tackle made around the nine yard line. That makes it first and goal. Scrambled, runs with it, and he's got room. Brought down around the four-yard line. That brings up second and goal. They'll bring him down at the three-yard line. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 62-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 27-3. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to put the ball away. Down two possessions, this offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And he's level at the 35-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 35. Pass. 
first and 10. Ball on the 29. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. At the 30. And he's tackled at the 24-yard line. This is a team that knows when and how to attack on the ground. They have a very good sense for what plays will work when. First and ten following that big run. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Our national championship game is one quarter away from naming the number one team in the country. Our score, 27-3, Aggies. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Throws it in a hurry, and he's tackled at about the five-yard line. Second down and goal. Ball on the five yard line. And he makes it out to about the five yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's on a run. Decides to take it himself, but he's got it. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Texas a and Kick this one off. Fields at the goal line. And he just got stood up right there. The Huskies have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. Looks left, finding his tailback. Down he goes at the 32. They're about four yards away here on second down. That's a great tackle at the 23-yard line. A nice play there, and that's his fifth sack of the season. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. Receiver inside the 30, the 10. Well, they're not going to win it, but they're still playing hard out there.
takes the PAT. And down he goes. That's the 42. The Huskies came in here with a nationally ranked defense. They haven't looked like a nationally ranked defense to me. Brad, I don't think they're playing with the normal focus that we've seen from this team. We've seen backs at times that are breaking open. Wide receivers are making plays over the top of defensive backs. They're just not as dialed in as they normally are. And he's taken down around the 29-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Short pass, middle of the field. He's taken down at the 23. That'll make it second and four. his way out to about the 15th. From the 15-yard line, it's first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 15 yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Now he tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. From the 17 yard line, third down, five wide. <laughs> Quick throw, and it's intercepted, and who else? It's the senior safety. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20. Just under two minutes in the game. He throws left, and he holds that one in, and they make the stop, the 36-yard line. He's got it with room to run, on the bounds at about the 29-yard line. need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he hits him hard at the 24. Play fake, 
and he fires end zone. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. And this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. And they're looking to get two points here. Taken down at the 40 yard line. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. It's on the ground. He's picked up by the offense. The back can consider himself very fortunate this time because the offense recovered. But the next time, he might not be so lucky. From the 43 yard line. Second down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's into the open field. He gets to about the 27 yard line. So he keeps it and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. They come out in a five wide set. Nice run, and he's brought down. Curtis picks up about seven yards on the run. Connecticut will use their final timeout. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. Texas a and is the national champion. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Texas A&M made the journey and finished it off with the national championship. It really couldn't have happened to a better bunch of kids in a classier school than this. They battled all year. Whenever it got tough, they came together and came out on top. And now they're on top of the polls, the world, everything. Congratulations to our national champion. EA Sports congratulates this young man for his fine performance and his award for player of the game. For Texas A&M, they rack up their 13th win of the year. And for the Huskies, a heartbreaking loss ends their quest for a perfect season.